Whether you're a realtor, a landscaper, or just someone that's looking to remodel your house, this whole process can be complex and the design aspect of it can be something that gets incredibly difficult. But today we're going to be talking about Ideal House because these guys have done something truly innovative and revolutionary. Let's dive into this. So this is Ideal House. Now this is an interesting company because what they've done is incredible. They actually used AI to help with the virtual staging, interior remodeling, landscaping, and even exterior renovations when it comes to house design. So no matter where in your house you are looking at, you could potentially use this platform to add a little bit of spark to it or even completely remodel it. Now, the way this works is very simple, but effective. So here we can see we are inside the platform and what we can do is go to the explore section and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So this is basically designs that the community have come up with using the platform itself and it's very simple to use. All you have to do is upload a photo of that space and then the AI will populate that space with aesthetically pleasing designs that you could essentially follow and create yourself. Now you could do this with floor plans, you could do this with your living room and it really just visualizes visualizes everything for you to get everything going. So here we've got interior remodel, then exterior renovator, and then photo enhancer as well. And next to that, we have landscaping, and you can even change the smaller details like the color of a chair or even the style of a floor. So let's go ahead and give this a go. We're going to add a photo here of a place we've been looking at. So it looks okay, but let's just actually improve this. So here we've got our palette, we've got the room type, so we can pick the type of room that it is here. That could be the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, etc. So let's click that again and choose living room. Then we have the style, so we can change the entire style of the room, whether it's modern, Scandinavian, or even more minimalistic. And depending on your preference, they do have a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. Some of them even lean towards that modern art type of feel. Let's go with Mountain Serenity here. I do like the idea of that style. And then we can go ahead and choose the elements of this room as well. So that could be shelving, coffee table, rugs, arm chairs, plants, sofas, curtains, floor lamps, and more. There's literally basically anything you would expect to have in a house on this platform. You can add it in. Uh, and yeah, it really just helps you if you do have that blank spot in your brain when it comes to designing your rooms. But we're gonna select all of these and we're gonna scroll down here. We can see we can also change things. If it was a kitchen, for example, we could change the fridge and things like this. Next, we've got palette. So we can actually change the general coloring there and we can even give it a custom prompt as well. Let's go with what we've got and see what it comes back with. And in literally under a minute here, we can see our original photo and then it's taken that and redesigned the entire room. We can see here it's a completely different design all in the same floor layout. So we could go ahead and copy this if we want to or show it to an interior designer and they'll be able to work off of this photo. Really, really cool here and a massive improvement from what we had. Here's another design here, a little bit more lighter, but it really goes to show the versatility of this platform and how revolutionary this thing is. Now let's try this again with the outside of a house. So here we can see we're on the exterior renovator section and just like before we can go with the building style So that could be basically anything here from something that's a little bit more old-fashioned We can see there's a little white house style one We could see there or something that's a little bit more modern really they have any type and style of house on this platform So you could go in and find your exact style and then it's going to model your house based on that style Let's go with a Cotsworld cottage here and press confirm. Next, we can set up the environment here. So that would be, of course, the time of day. Let's go with daytime here. Then we have the style. And then we can also add a style reference as well if we want. So if we have a picture of a house that we like, we could upload that there or even input into that custom box for something more specific. So let's go ahead and generate that. Keep note of the original photo here. And let's see what it comes back with. So here it's taken our original house and definitely made it a lot more 
cottagey. We can see the thatch roof here, which is really cool. And it's even changed different exterior features of the house, such as the window style and of course the garage doors. So that is exterior renovating, but let's go to landscaping as well here. So we're going to use the same image here. We're going to go to garden style. And as you can see, we have tons of different styles here, whether it's native, rustic or any other. I really like the classic elegance one here. So let's click that and press confirm. Next, we can check elements. So this is where we can add the shrubbery, maybe a fruit tree or even some kind of terrain or hedges in the garden. We also have a shade tree there. Let's click that and press confirm. It really does feel like we are shopping here and it's going to put all of that into our image as we press generate here. So here we can see the finished photo. As you can see, it's put a nice path patio there and it's added all the shrubbery and bushes that we had selected. So this would be a great way to improve your garden if you did want to actually landscape it. So really cool there. And I really love the design here. Next, let's check out the photo enhancer. So we can select that same image here like we did before, and we can actually enhance that photo if we want on a slider as well. Then it's basically going to generate that for us, improve the photo. So here's the original image. And if we scroll down, it looks a lot lot better here with what it's made. As you can see, fantastic stuff across the board. So if you are a realtor, and you're looking to sell a house here, then taking your photo and putting it into something like this keeps the house the same, but just makes that photo pop a little bit more. So this could be great on that front. So that's a few of the features, but let's try the furniture try on feature because this is really cool. So what we can do here is actually upload another image this time we're going with more of a kitchen vibe and press confirm there. And as that loads, we can see this is our picture. We can add furniture to this if we want. So let's say we want to add a microwave here. If a picture of a microwave, you can crop this for the best placement. So let's do that now. Just make sure that it's fairly tight around the microwave there and then press done. And then we can basically just drag this anywhere we want it to be in the kitchen. And not only is it going to place it there, but it's actually going to rotate it as well. So let's click that, remove the background so it detects the object, and then we can place this wherever we want. We can also resize it if we want to as well, but I do like it on this counter here. So let's place it there and press generate. If we click the result here, we can see it's taken that microwave, it's rotated it, and it just looks like it's part of the kitchen now. So a fantastic example of how good the ideal house platform actually is. Now we can go ahead and and find that product as well online simply by clicking it and it's going to find that exact microwave for us so we can purchase it and then put it into our kitchen. So first we can see how it's going to look and then we can actually go to the shop and buy it. Here we have a nice before and after shot of us putting it in the kitchen there. Really cool. We also have a side by side so that's what it was before and after. We could do this with basically any kitchen item or even furniture item if we were looking more in the living room. Let's try and add a chair to this room here. So we're going to look at the chair here. We've cropped it again, and then we can just place this into the room. Of course, remove that background as we did before. It's going to detect that object. And then what we can do is basically drag that and then place it wherever we want in the room. And this is the power of the furniture try on side to this, because if we do already like the rooms we have and we just want to change one or two things, we can experiment here on this platform and then implement it while saving money rather than having to buy things from stores, try them and then take them back. Here we can see it's added the chair to our room here and it looks pretty good. Again, we can go side by side with the before and after or even use the slider as we did before. Now that's furniture try on, but we can actually change furniture as well. So let's click that a living room for style. We'll go with minimalism. For the elements, let's just pick a few here. So armchair curtains, floor lamp, I like that. And yes, let's press generate. All right, for the room type here, we can select living room or bedroom here, but let's go with bedroom because that is our photo. And then we can press generate and see what it comes back with. So here we can see it's changed the furniture of the room here. So it's changed our bedroom into more of a living room space, which I think is really cool. Now we can also remove objects in rooms as well. Well, so we can analyze that picture here and then we can press the click to remove button. 
So we can basically go through and click different objects in this room and it's going to remove them for us. So if there is a photo on a wall or a piece of furniture, we can select that and then remove it. So here we can see as we selected that piece in front of the bed, that was what it was before and now it has completely gone. Now let's try image to video. So we can add a photo here like we've done before and then yes, we can create a video out of that photo. But what about AI floor plan generator? Well, this is where it gets interesting. So here we can actually just generate a floor plan based on these filters here. So bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchen type, gross area, or add extras here like a walk-in closet or a storage room. So let's select a few of these and press generate. So here, based on what we've set out as criteria, it's created an entire floor plan for us based on that. So as we can see, we've got the master bedroom, walk-in closet, master bathroom, and much more here. Now we can also change the house style when we are creating these floor plans. So here we have a bunch that we can choose from, whether it could be a balcony or something with multiple floors. You can basically pick any style here and press confirm. Here, let's select imperial, select the area, the amount of stories. If we go to exterior and structure, we can see the roof type, foundations, garage amounts, and outdoor spaces. For interior layout and features, we can change it from open concepts. We can add different key rooms here, such as a home office. It's going to basically make the entire floor plan around those rooms. And then once we're happy with it, we can press generate. And here we can see the entire house plan with multiple floors. So we've got the first floor and the second floor there. You can see the outside diagram or blueprint of the house, which I think is really cool. And it's even rendered an entire image of what the house would look like when it's built. Now let's try texture replacer. So we can put an image in like we did before. We can select an area like a wall here and we can actually change the texture of that wall. So here we can see we've pressed generate and it's completely completely change the color of the wall there. So this could be a great way to experiment with the look of your rooms. Here is the before image and the after image. And that is just a few of the things that you can do on ideal.house. Definitely check this out in the description, guys. Some other things that I haven't mentioned is that it's actually going to give you AI modeling costs based on the changes that it's made. So if you redesign a room on the site, you could get the estimated cost for that entire entire remodel, which I think is fantastic. This is basically the ultimate co-pilot when you're actually redesigning your home. So whether you are a realtor, whether you are someone that's looking to remodel, or if you are a landlord yourself, then definitely check this out because this will basically change the appeal of your house. And of course, everything we've seen here today does look very good. That's going to be it for me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.